So with these types of questions, your first step is to identify in which quadrant we should draw our triangle. So step one, they tell us that cos is negative. That is a negative number. So we know that this is a cast diagram. And so cos would be negative over here or here. So we in one of those places. Then they said that theta is bigger than 180. So bigger than 180 could be this one or this one. So we choose the quadrant that offers both of them. And so that is where we will draw our triangle. So it'll go like that. And then like that. And then this is the angle that we'll use as our reference. And now they say that cos is negative 3 over 5. So we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is negative 3. And then hypotenuse is 5. To find the missing side in your triangle, you would use Pythagoras. And if you have to do that, you would find out that this part over here is going to be 4 but negative 4 because it's going down on the y-axis. So now that we've got our triangle drawn, we can now answer the questions. The first question says, what is sin theta? So we know that sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is 5. And so there's the answer for that one. Question B, tan theta. So we know that tan is adjacent over, whoops, no it's not. <laughs> Tan is opposite over adjacent, and so that's going to be negative 4 over um, the adjacent, which is going to be negative 3, and so the negatives cancel, and so you end up with 4 over 3. And then for question C, be careful, you don't want to take the 2 out as a common factor. What we rather do is we realize that that is a double angle, and I can realize that sin of 2 theta is over here. And so what I do, because we have a bit of a problem, because this angle is theta, right? That's what they gave us. But this is 2 theta, so it's not the same. So what we can realize is that sin 2 theta is the same as 2 sin theta cos theta. Where did I get that? From here. Now what's really nice is that I now have thetas. So everything's matching up quite nicely. So I can say that this is equal to 2. And then sin theta we already worked out as negative 4 over 5. And then cos theta, we already worked out as, well, they already gave that to us, negative 3 over 5. And then you can just type all of this in the calculator and get a final answer of 24 over 25. And then cos 2 theta is also a double angle. And so you can choose any one of these. I'm just going to choose the top one. And so that's going to be cos squared theta minus sin squared theta. So what's really nice is that here it's a 2 theta, which we don't have. We only have theta. But then on this side of the formula, it is only thetas. So that's easy. So we can now say cos theta. You can think of this as cos theta squared minus sin theta squared. And so cos theta is negative 3 over 5. And then sin theta, we already worked out as negative 4 over 5 squared. And so that's going to give us 9 over 25 minus 16 over 25. And that would give us negative 7 over 25.